Hey there, all you cool cats and kittens. It's me, it's your boy. Um, we're on lockdown, you know? I'm on lockdown. Everyone's stuck at home. So I figured I'd take this chance to uh, actually like film these things. I would talk about filming, little film reviews. Uh, and I figured it might be nice, you know, just to stay busy. So, uh, as we know, as I know, um, I have a hard drive of movies. I have a Netflix list. There's so many movies to watch right now. So I'm finally deciding I can't leave the house. So I'm going to watch some of them. So the first one I decided to watch was 2017's Mom and Dad. So this film stars Nicolas Cage, Selma Blair, and the absolute unit that is Lance Hendrickson. So right there, I'm in. I'm so into this film. I'm already in Flavortown. We're there. Um, also, uh, also a weird side note. The poster for the film here uh, has this little thing at the bottom, like the quotes, you know, from critics. And the one says, uh, it's like Home Alone on bath salts. I don't, uh... I don't think that aged too well, you know, and three years later, but hey. So, anyways, the plot is um, super simple and super fun. It's about a small American town with white picket fences, uh, everyone's happy, you know. Kids are off at school, and then one day, out of nowhere, snap of the fingers, uh, the parents become obsessed with murdering their children. That's it. That's honestly pretty much the entire plot. Um, there are some other, like, some character pieces here sprinkled in, you know, with, like, Cage's character and Blair's and their interactions. But uh, the bread and butter is just the parents uh, trying to kill their kids. That's the only thing they care about anymore. There is actually one really nice scene with Cage, though, where he's in the basement of his house here. He's uh, building a pool table. His wife confronts him, saying, you don't even play pool. And he doesn't. Um, and then he gets uh, into a tangent. He's super upset about how he's the baddest boy in the block, the coolest kid in school. And now he's just an aging father. So I found that scene was very, very nice. For a film of such a simple plot, it does a very good job of putting all the pieces on a table for you to see, and then slowly tying them back together in ways you might not have seen coming. So, really, unfortunately, there's not too much to say about this movie. Uh, if you're a fan of Cage, I, it's a must-watch. Uh, if you're a fan of like, thrillers, you want a fun movie night, it's a good time. It's um, it's harmless, you know, not too much swearing, nothing too crazy, no, no nudity. <laughs> you lie! You're a fucking liar! Shut up! Um, it's a good time. There, not much gore, I will say that, which, um, I don't know, it it looks like a horror film on certain posters, so I was a little disappointed in that. It's still for a thriller, great time. It's a fun movie, you know? Feels like a really good Netflix movie, you know? Yeah, it's a good thriller. And it's also kind of an interesting look at, like, age versus ego, and how they kind of both pull at each other constantly. Also, um, in that basement scene, we get this. Oh, yeah! You put your right foot in! You take your right foot out! You do the hokey and pokey and you fucking work it all out! Cool, cool. So that's my first little one in the bag. I know it's short, but I'm not doing this for the YouTube money. I'm just doing this to stay busy. Uh, thanks for watching, you know. Hopefully we'll do more. Pro you know me, so I, I say that every time. And probably not. That's This will hopefully be fixed next time, because it looks like a ghost. I'll try to fix that in post, but I doubt it coronavirus.